Dude, something just hammered it and he is taking off running. <laughs> He's like pulling so much drag. Listen to this. So I have the day off today, um, and I was, I'm just sitting here trying to think of like what I want to do today. Uh, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to do a taste test or if I just wanted to go fishing. So I'm kind of going to incorporate two different things. I'm going to go fishing, and I'm going to attempt to catch an inshore slam. Now here in Pensacola, an inshore slam is a redfish, trout, and flounder. My second goal for the day is to catch a sea robin. So I've caught hundreds of them and I catch them while I'm fishing for redfish, trout, and flounder. So I thought it'd be a good mixture to combine the two. Uh, they're the ugliest fish that you'll ever see. Like they're scary looking, they're so ugly. So <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm going fishing right now. I'm gonna try to catch an inshore slam on artificial lures, but I'm also gonna try to catch a sea robin. So. Wish me luck. I left my polarized sunglasses at home, so I had to stop and get a $12 pair <laughs> at the bait and tackle shop to get me through the day. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this $12 pair will get the job done because I am going to be doing some sight fishing today. Boat's already in the water, ready to roll. That's always good. Whew, let's go fishing. Now this challenge is easier said than done because it's December. Uh, any other time of year I could probably catch them fairly easily, but not this time of year. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to kind of go through each species, show you guys how I'm targeting these fish, and uh, man, it should be a great day on the water. Alright guys, I'm going to hit this little deep water dock up here first. I've caught redfish, trout, and flounder around this dock. so. I'm just gonna give it a shot. I've never fished it in December before, so I don't know really what to expect, but um, we'll go give it a shot here for just a second. Uh, basically, this is how I'm rigging, and this is how I'm gonna rig all day. When it's winter, uh, and I'm fishing winter, I wanna slow down my retrieve a lot, and I wanna fish soft plastics. So, basically, <clears throat> so this is how I'm rigging right here. I've got this uh, a one fourth ounce mission fishing jig head with a three inch long new penny mantis gulp shrimp uh, that's a great winter time rig i'm just going to slow retrieve it off the bottom you can catch redfish and trout and flounder that way Ooh, i just got a bite i don't know what it was i definitely just got a bite there probably wasn't nothing real big All right, no success at the first spot here. I'm gonna go take it to some shallow water flats and see if I can sight fish some redfish or maybe catch a speckled trout or a flounder. All right, I'm pulling up to my next spot here. I'm just gonna work this bank right here all the way down. It goes for miles and uh, just see what I can catch. See if I can sight fish some reds or maybe pull a trout or something out of here. So, so I'm just kind of working this canal right now. It's a pretty deep canal. I have not caught anything yet, but uh, I'm just going to keep trying and see what happens. I'm bound to catch a sea robin at some point. <laughs> you got a fish. Got something. He feels like a flounder, maybe. Oh my God. No way, dude. Look at this. Look at this. You aren't going to believe it. Look at this. Listen to him. Listen to him. It's a sea robin. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> guys I can't believe it I got the target species I had a feeling that I was gonna get the target species at some point today just because I always catch a sea robin when I'm out here throwing gulp uh, but man that is awesome I got my sea robin right here look at how ugly he is that is an ugly fish man Woo! 
<laughs> All right, he's going on ice right now. Guys, now that I've got my target species, I'm just gonna keep fishing for a while. I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm just gonna roll down this flat right here, casting for redfish uh, and other stuff like that. Man, I've already seen a couple big schools of redfish. First redfish, right here. First redfish. All right, there's fish number one. I'm gonna I'm gonna release this guy right here. Uh, we'll see if we can catch something else. See you, buddy. It was funny, that last fish, I didn't even know he had the bait. I just saw my bait coming to the boat, so that's why I was reeling so fast, because he was swimming with it in his mouth right at the boat. All right, guys, I gotta make a move. Um, I didn't get anything else here, no other fish, so I'm gonna go to the south side of this uh, area that I'm at right now and see if there's any fish over there. All right, I just pulled up to this next spot here. Man, it is beautiful. Check this area out back here. I mean, it's just beautiful water. Uh, lots of bait fish, lots of mullet. And the conditions are almost too good and the fish are spooky. The fish that I'm seeing, I mean, you just have no shot at catching them. Uh, but I'm gonna keep after it a little while longer. Pulled the hook right out of something's mouth right there. I'm not sure what it was, but that's the second fish I've lost. So I didn't have the first fish on camera. Uh, just, a, just a minute ago, I lost a speckled trout. I had him boat side and he shook the hook. And that would have been my second fish to an inshore slam today, which was kind of my goal. But now my goal is just to, just to catch something else. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of fish, man. They're just kind of spooky, so I'm gonna keep fishing. Dude, something just hammered it and he has taken off running. <laughs> He's like pulling so much drag. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to that drag. <laughs> I mean, this fish is so far out there right now. You can see it out there on top almost. Oh no, you're not gonna believe what it is. It's a cow ray. Look at this. Look at this cow ray right here. I think that's a good one to end on. Uh, let's see, I fished for four hours and I've caught a redfish, a sea robin, and a cow ray. Beautiful conditions out here today. I saw probably a hundred fish, nice redfish and trout lost one trout but it was just uh it's tough when the conditions are so calm and so still i probably had 20 different redfish come down and just nose my bait and stick their nose on it and then turn off i even went down to 10 pound test fluorocarbon uh and it you know it just it just didn't work so all right fish is on ice right here check it out time to head to the house I had to stop and refuel before I go home and eat my sea robin. Coconut water. It's good stuff. <clears throat> Love coconut water.
So I'm back at the house now. I've got my sea robin over here chilling on the table. He's about to be cleaned. So I'll know how the fish is gonna taste in like five minutes once I clean it and once I see what the meat looks like because that's a telltale all of how the fish is gonna taste once you look and feel the meat. So let's go ahead and clean it. This fish is so spiny. He's got spines all over him, so I'm trying to keep from getting uh, getting stuck. Oh man, I can already see pretty white meat. Beautiful looking white meat. The meat is beautiful. I'm not even kidding. It's firm, it's white. Check it out right there. Beautiful white meat filet. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna take this in right now and start cooking. I mean, I have a feeling it's gonna be similar to lizard fish because it's such a white meat, but we'll, uh, we'll go check it out right now. All right, I'm just gonna pan fry it for just a second with a little bit of seasoning, nothing crazy. Uh, I mean, this should take, two minutes and we're, we're done. Um, all right, time to put them in the pan. All right, it's done. Okay, it is all done. Here's my sea robin right here. Here goes nothing, guys. Sea robin. I never thought I'd be eating sea robin. Very, very firm, flaky, flavorable, non-fishy white meat. And, and here's my honest opinion. Um, it tastes as good as any inshore species of fish that, uh, that you're going to target. So, uh, my suggestion to you would be, <laughs> if you are... If you're strictly meat hunting and you're going out there to catch something to bring home and eat and you catch a sea robin, I would cook it. I would take it home and clean it and cook it because it's better than speckled trout. Uh, man, it, it, it really is. Like it's re I've been reading up on this fish all week and everything that I've read, you can Google it, everything I've read has been like, sea robin is awesome. And I didn't believe, I was like, there's no way that that ugly fish is gonna be good tasting. But man, it was, it was really, really, really good. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have another bite. Guys, if you like the video, shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. I'll keep doing more. Y'all have a great week.